Ashram Common Sense Health Expert. Welcome to the Wild and Free Healthy You Podcast. Without your health, there isn't much joy in life, so here we talk about all facets of health, including lots of unconventional strategies, tools, and solutions from a holistic point of view. This podcast is all about motivation, inspiration, and expansion of your mind, your body, and your spirit, because your health is your number one asset, and my job is to help you protect it. Now, on to today's episode of the Wild and Free Healthy You Podcast. This podcast does not provide medical advice. The purpose is to promote consumer knowledge and information on various health topics. Always seek the advice of your qualified health practitioner. Hello, you awesome and amazing peeperoo. I am so glad you're listening to this episode of the Wild and Free Healthy You podcast or watching on my Lenny Motivates YouTube channel because, well, this episode just might change your life. How, you ask? Do you have an autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, Hashimoto's or psoriasis, or know someone who does? How about any chronic disease like diabetes, heart, kidney, or thyroid disease, or any other? Are you battling weight, maybe depression issues? What about vaccine injuries? Muscles going soft as you're aging? If you're like me, you care a lot about those wrinkles and aging of the skin. So is this a miracle that we're gonna be talking about today? No, it's pretty simple chemistry, although it seems and acts like one when you know about it and you use it. I feel like the miracle here is, well, the people God chooses to create and invent things and follow through on ideas that transforms, transform lives, like yours or mine. You know, I am unconventional most everything I do, mentally, spiritually, and physically. And for those of you who listen to what I share, there is definitely gain and benefit because I am led to share all that I learn with all who will listen. Today, I am sharing with you. This is a special two hour presentation of my Wild and Free Healthy You podcast with George Wiseman. He's a brilliant and true American inventor. And while I don't give medical advice on this podcast, nobody does, listen for yourself because the anecdotal and true information you're about to hear will knock your socks off just as it did mine, which is why I wanted to do this interview with George. I had to interview him for you and I know you'll be glad I did. So strap yourself in and hang on for this amazing ride. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, (laughs) let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's start with good morning, George. How are you and how's Canada? You're going to tell me how Canada was. So how is Canada? Canada is great today. It's absolutely wonderful. The sun is out. Uh, here we uh, near Niagara Falls, we haven't been getting much sunshine. It's been a really cold and, and rainy spring. But today oh. the birds are singing, the sun is shining, the skies are blue. It's absolutely gorgeous. A yeah. little slight breeze. Yeah, it'd be nice to be out on the hammock. <laughs> oh, wow. And is it, is it really gr- It has to be really green there. I've never been to Niagara Falls. Is it uh, really it's really green right now. Later in the summer, it'll get kind of, you know, dried up a little bit. Right now is perfect. It's the absolute best time of the year to come. And as far as tourism goes, it's good this time of the year because it's before everybody, all the you know, kids getting out of school and everything, and then the tourist destination. So it's just before that. So even though there's crowds, it's not so bad. Oh, I like that. I like when there's not so many crowds. <laughs> That's what we do, Yellowstone or something like that, you know, when not, not everybody's there. Yeah. So let's. I'm going to go ahead and start with your um, – with your – I was going to say biography, <laughs> but let's introduce you. So this is George Wiseman, everybody, who is definitely a wise man. And uh, I bet I bet you never heard that before, huh? <laughs> He's a true American inventor with a twist. That's what I say about my the spirituality. I've got, I mean, my health, it's like, it's health with a spiritual twist. So it's, but this is about you. So George invents world changing technology, but does not patent it, which is fascinating to me. Instead, he sells the information and devices. He goes directly to the public and teaches as many people as he can to duplicate his innovations. Yes, several people have used his technologies to make millions and not paid Mr. Wiseman a dime. (laughs) I like that. But that's okay by Mr. Wiseman because he's trying to get his innovations actually used by the public, which is beautiful. Like that free energy that never got around, right? You didn't do that, but I mean, other people have done. You do, no, you do make free energy, right? As you read on a little bit, you'll see. (laughs) I'm an alternative energy researcher. (laughs) Let me finish, everybody. George thinks of himself as an alternative energy researcher and started his business, Eagle Research, in 1984 at first selling fuel-saving information and technology. He was able to revolutionize the genre, not only inventing several practical fuel savers, but also the technology that allowed fuel savers to interface with modern fuel systems. 
He then became an expert in Brown's gas. Yay! I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Also known as HHO or hydroxy and has focused on that for the last 20 years. Fuel savings was just one of the more than 30 useful applications for hydroxy. Another Mr. Wiseman optimized was using hydroxy to replace torch fuels like acetylene. How, is that acetylene? Is that how you say it? Acetylene. Acetylene. Okay, so acetylene, everybody. The, the application he is currently, uh, no, the application he is currently focused on is hydroxy for health. Hydro hydrogen for health is fast becoming one of the most important innovations of all time, and Mr. Wiseman is guiding the technology into using practical and safe technologies to apply it, and I'm so grateful that you are, because I have the invention right there that he invented. Can you see it? Is it in focus? Yep. Can you see it's it? Awesome yeah, it looks too good. It looks good to me. <laughs> yeah, you touched it. You created it. It's and you even put the handle kit on it. I see that. It, oh well, yeah. Did my hubby did all that? I didn't even. I didn't, Aww, this game. So good. Yeah. I, I would like to take the credit, but no. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so um, let's talk about this from the health. And and when I was talking about free energy, I meant like free energy. You know what I'm talking about? Like um, there was somebody who was actually like taken off the planet because he was trying to um, do free energy so that you could just get energy from the air. Or something. Thousands of people, thousands of inventions. Uh, and of course, I, I could talk all day just on that particular thing. But uh, free energy has been around for a long time, over 100 years, where inventors keep inventing it and the, the powers that be keep, keep uh, suppressing them. Uh, just in the fuel saving genre, where uh, people could get over 200 miles to a gallon of gas. This has been known since the 1800s, okay? Yeah. I have the documentation all in my files and things like that, and some of my fuel savers duplicate some of the, even the oldest stuff, that uh, like Benz of Mercedes-Benz invented a vaporization system like I use it with my Heiko 2A. Now, I developed the Heiko 2A before I knew of that, but then when Wait, I knew what What's the Heiko 2A? You lost me. Yeah, no, no worries. What it does is it uh, takes gasoline and vaporizes a portion of it, and those vapors are what the what actually the engine runs on. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we won't go into all that because we're in hydroxy for health. My point is that uh, these technologies, free energy technologies, fuel saving technologies, have been around for a long time, mm -hmm. and the inventors keep getting squished. You, you've seen movies on them and stuff like that. Um, like Dennis Weaver did a really good movie on uh, on the water as fuel technology where he invented an engine that ran on water, and uh, um, the, the inventor did, the inventor that he, he played, and, and how that got all suppressed and everything. And it's, it, that was pretty typical, how that goes. So it's been around a long time. I am in the process of duplicating quite a few of those technologies, and, I, and I've written books. And what I do is I write the books, uh, even though the technology isn't complete, mm -hmm. what I write and tell people what exists as I know it now. It's not the whole thing, but this is it now. So it won't get lost. Unlike other inventors that simply, they hide it all to themselves and then all, the, all they have to do is snuff out that particular person and it's gone again, okay? So with what I do is I write the books and, and I update the books so that at any particular time, if a bus suddenly hit me, that portion of the technology would still be there for somebody to carry on. And interestingly enough, what has happened is a lot of people out there. There's a lot of very smart people, smarter than I am even. And even though their names aren't Wiseman, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> they're smarter than I am. They're still and, wise. <laughs> and they get back to me because they're so grateful that I share this. And they say, well, here's my perspective on it and what I would do. And, and this is what's happened that I've done so far. And so I became the top of an information pyramid. Wow. Which was genius. And I, and I stumbled across it. and. Uh, so all these people at the base are feeding me information, and then I consolidate it and feed it back, and then they review it and feed back, and, it, and the whole technologies have been advancing really quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'd be further along, but my life kind of went sideways 10 years ago when my late wife got ill. So anyway, that's, that's a whole story in itself. And, uh, that, was, that, was, that was a really sad story. I almost started crying. And that's yeah. when I, I said, <laughs> oh, I need to get this machine because um in her honor and um and just to pursue the health if i mean if kind of touched on it if you want to you want to talk about that first just a second so 
just quickly, yes. I essentially, what happened was talked about it, and I so that they can hear. You know. Yes. Um, essentially, the universe, God, whatever you call it, gave me the information that I needed to uh, to heal my wife, uh, starting in about 1996, uh, and. God does this. God whispers, and then if you don't listen, he hits you with a brick, and if you don't listen, he hits you with a bus. It's, like, it's just kind of the way it goes. <laughs> when, when, technology, when he wants the technology out there, he's going to make sure it happens. So in yeah. any case, uh, in 1996, he gave me the whispers and, uh, in, because my customers were reporting back to me of what they were doing it for health. God only knows why. And, uh, and I didn't really listen. And then I eventually, after 10 years, started to listen. And then it, it progressed. And it turns out that my, when my wife was so sick and I was 24-7 caretaker and I was getting maybe 20 minutes of sleep at patches during the day because she couldn't even roll over in bed without assistance. And uh, I had to lift her to and from the toilet and all these things. And so whenever she needed, I was there. But I wasn't able to do my research. Everything just got put on hold. Mm -hmm. And it turned out that the particular illness that she was, um, that she was sick with could have been easily and quickly, and I'm going to use the word cured, it would, she would have healed uh, with the Browns gas. It, it would, uh, it, as bad as it was when she died, um, it, made, it, was, it was almost as bad when uh, I, I did the Browns gas and I started putting it out there, and a woman got back in touch with me and said that she had this particular illness and in three weeks' time, the symptoms were gone. Three weeks. My wife was sick for over 10 years. And so it was, it, it was very bad. And, uh, and so I've, and this is where it comes to it, I've dedicated my life to making sure that people get this technology so that other husbands and wives don't go through what I did. People can live comfortably to an old age. And interestingly enough, a very old age. Because it's shown that uh, there's been studies in Japan and with mice and with humans, uh -huh. where they, uh, they live long, uh, people live a, a 30 to 50% longer lifespan, healthy lifespan. So it's not like you're in a, in a bed and, and, and can't turn over and you're just existing. You're mm -hmm. out there playing tennis and doing all the things that you want to do. So that's, that's the kind of thing where we're at. It's, uh, we're, this gas is needed, the, the, the technology is needed, and I'm very happy to be providing it and and actually, quite frankly, uh, God has told me that if I don't, my life is going to be like garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to worry about a bus hitting you, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe when the, my usefulness is over with, I'll go to heaven. It was, it was, it was, it was phase over, pass on, whatever, however you're going to say it. it uh, um, can you see? So, I know that there is a, uh, there, there has to be a plan for me because there's been so many times in my life when I should have been dead. They're just uh, story after story. But, but my guardian angels, who, who God knows must be overworked like crazy, <laughs> have protected me. They really are. So this Brown's gas is, um, it's not just hydrogen, but I want to show, and for the, those who are just listening to this, um, it, it's called the... Let me see. It's called the aqua. Is that a good shot of it right there? Because yes, I can't. That's a pretty good shot of it. Yes, aqua okay. care. Yes. Oh, aqua. Okay, it's not aqua. Sorry, that's but either way. Either way. Correct. Tomatoes. tomatoes. <laughs> so I say aqua. Okay, so the aqua cure, and um, it's it's a it's a nice, awesome machine, and and I sit right over there in my little chair with a massage thing, and I sit there for twenty minutes. I've only had it now. Thank you, George. Um, you gave it, got it to us a day early. I've only had it for three days now, but I've been using, I, I started doing 20 minutes yesterday, uh, three times a day. And I'm, I'm at 40 and I think I should be at 34 for my weight, but, um, the, the percentage, right. Is it? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. but anyway, I'm doing it 40 and I'm great. And, um, so can, I just want to tell, like, if, I know that it takes time, right. But I'm so excited because the first time that I did it, I did it for 10 minutes or five minutes. I can't remember. I have it written down. I've got it in my journal. Anyway, um, so I think it was five minutes. But, um, and then I drank the whole, a whole quart of water that I did for 10 minutes that I bubbled at 40 
percent hydrogen or or well you're going to talk about what the mixture is the hydroxy yes the hydroxy take a drink so cheers yeah while i'm talking so anyway um and that's what i have is that's hydroxy water and and we'll talk about containers too because i'm not sure about this one but anyway so what happened to me is i was with my daughter we were shopping for her in her, her new apartment we're just at this place and all of a sudden my knees started like shaking and my hands were shaking like really sh i was like wow, this is pretty crazy stuff, but it wasn't like bad shaking. It was like, whoa, <laughs> shaking. And this was the first time I used it. And, um, and it was like, it took like 15 minutes, which I know it goes in directly right away. So I'm not sure, maybe that was just healing or something going on. But, um, but then I just, then that stopped and I just felt like not euphoric and not high, but high, <laughs> but just like, like vital, like yes. so Live, and that was my first time using it. Yes. So it was, I, and, and it didn't happen for my hubby, and it didn't happen for my daughter. Neither yes. one of them felt anything. Yes. So I don't know what I was feeling. What was oh, I feeling? And that's, and that's what happens. It's a, everybody is different. So uh, for me, my first time I breathed, I I actually videoed myself when I first breathed it, and it was about six thirty in the afternoon, evening, and I did it for fifteen minutes. Mm. Now I didn't know what would happen or anything so i just did that and i was exactly like you just described all night no sleep there was i was alert it was i it wasn't a coffee buzz or anything like that yeah. i was just awake i laid in bed and and this was very disconcerting even though there was no pain and no it just i just <laughs> wasn't asleep and uh <laughs> <play tennis>. <laughs> <laughs> and so but I did lay there all night because I didn't have anything else to do in particular. And this is this <laughs> time. And <laughs> thinking that I would fall asleep eventually or something. And, um, um, but it, so anyway, cause I could fall and get asleep against a rock. Like any, any of my, uh, anybody around me knows that I can just, just, you know, make myself comfortable and just go to sleep, but pretty much any time. But that was, so that was very different. That's what I call weirdness. Okay. So what you what you had was a weirdness, and what I had was a weirdness, and here's another weirdness. My wife, my current wife, I've remarried. Um, that's an interesting story as well, and and I'm very grateful for that. Um, has uh, the first time she did it, she did it for 15 minutes, and it was in the evening again, like that, and she just out, boom, best night's sleep ever, just oh, wow, completely gone. So exactly the opposite. And what's what I'm saying is everybody is different. I can't tell people what will happen or won't happen. We just don't know. Yeah, yeah, because you're right. Every every body is absolutely different. And um, and I did. I slept so good. I woke up. I think at one thirty seven. I think I think I remember the clock. Seeing the clock. And then I laid back down. I was like poof, gone to like seven thirty in the morning. Goes, Whoa, <laughs> which doesn't happen. I get up like at four or five. You know. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that was really good. And then I felt not drugged, but just like, just trying to come out of like a, a deep, I just, it was just a very deep, restful sleep. So, and dreams like crazy, just awesome dreams. But, but I, I'm an herbalist. So I took kava the night, you know, at, at night, cause I just, um, I don't always take it, but I took it. And so I don't know, the kava helps me, you know, it, I, I have the most awesome dreams with kava. <laughs> So, so I don't know if it was that, but they were just so smooth. They were smooth dreams, which I can't really explain, but like smooth jazz, <laughs> but it's, it's fantabulous. Yeah. So anyway, tell, talk to us about, um, what the, the gas is that we're, cause it's not just hydrogen gas. Cause there are hydrogen, cause I've been researching hydrogen machines for about six years. Not really, not researching like hardcore because, I didn't understand them enough, although I knew that hydrogen was really good for your body. Um, yours is different than just hydrogen. Tell us about that. Um, yes. So hydrogen is good and has been, uh, hydrogen therapies have been around for a long time. I actually have a web page that, that has, uh, I think it's eight different ways of getting hydrogen into your body. And uh, things like colloidal silver machines have been around. And what people don't know is that when you have the two electrodes and they're in the water, silver electrodes supposedly, and they have electrical going across and they're making grounds gas or hydroxy. And so that's actually one of the things that they, you drink when you're drinking the colloidal silver water 
is the hydroxy. So, and people didn't know that that was the additional health benefit. Yes, silver is an antibiotic, but it, this hydroxy was giving some of the health gains. So, wait, the wait thing, so you're drinking colloidal silver yes. as well as the hydrogen? Yes. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, when they're making the colloidal silver, they're making the hydroxy in the water, just like this machine behind you does. Mm -hmm. Only it doesn't doesn't make colloidal silver; it just puts a hydrogen in. Anyway, uh, hydroxy. So the uh, the other thing uh, similar was the flow through ionizers like uh, Enagic, uh, K Kangen from Enagic and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there's quite a few of them out there now, and those have been around for about 40 years. I don't know how long uh, colloidal silver has been around, but it was lo around even longer than that. Anyway. They were, this is where the high pH fad came in. And I, I call it a fad because it's been now scientifically proven that the pH has absolutely nothing to do with it. When they take the pH uh, out of the high pH out of the water but leave in the hydrogen, they right. get the same health benefits. When they take the hydrogen out but have the high pH, the health benefits are gone. It all had to do with the health benefit, with the hydrogen. Okay. Now, the hydroxy is a level above. So hydrogen is good, and you should definitely have the uh, uh, hydrogen at least. Every, everybody is hydrogen deficient. We can get into that a little bit more a little later, but um, we're talking about the hydroxy. So the hydroxy is the next level, and the reason it's the next level has to do with the actual fourth phase of water. And I say actual because there's a man out there called uh, Gerald or uh, Pollock what? who has been working with what he calls the fourth phase of water, but uh, it, it's actually phase 1.5. It, it, it is another, uh, he calls it a phase of water. And I talked with him personally. We're, we're good acquaintances. And Ooh, he, okay. uh, yeah, he's, he's actually quite communicative and uh, communicative. <laughs> uh, a good man to know and talk to. And anyway, he agreed with me that, it, that the, his easy zone water is not actually, it's actually not even water. It's uh, H3O. It's, uh, it's H3O2 instead of H2O. It's yeah. got an extra hydrogen and an extra oxygen. And for example, H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. And people wouldn't drink hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is definitely not water, right? So this right. is H3O2, and it, it's not water. It's water that's in a, a gel like state. Okay, it's a phase of. Uh, and, and, and we need that in our bodies. There's, there's a whole thing we can talk about, the, uh, the easy zone water. And we already have it in our bodies. Uh, our bodies wouldn't even function without it. Well, but, is, it is this like connective tissue or is this something else? Or is this like... No, the, it's actually the... the uh, extra, is it it's, the cellular? It, let's, say, let's give an example. In uh, all the walls of your capillaries, your veins, arteries, and capillaries, are surrounded by this gel-like, I can't call it a mucus, it's not a mucus, but it's this gel-like, very slippery stuff. It, it, it's called exclusion zone. And, it, and because of that, the cells, uh, the red blood cells, don't stick to the walls. You've seen things like in a, a, in a jar of water that has uh, carbon dioxide in it, the bubbles will stick to the side of the glass and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. because of this gel-like uh, um, solution, the... The red blood cells don't stick. And when you get into the capillaries, where the capillaries are actually smaller than the red, red blood cell, the red blood cell elongates and like a hot dog and, and goes through the, the capillary. And it can only do that if it has this easy zone uh, stuff on it. So, and interestingly enough, the easy zone uh, is... is um, uh, enhanced by and actually maybe even created by infrared energy. So if wow. you have an infrared sauna or anything like that, what you're doing is giving your body the actual energy it needs to increase this easy zone uh, water so that uh, so your whole body works better. So it, it, you need that. And we get it normally from our environment. There's infrared energy everywhere. But people that put the infrared, that actually sit in infrared or a hot tub or in, anywhere where you're getting some heat yeah. are getting that extra um, um, boost for, from that. Okay, I, so back I, to the I forgot about that because I have an infrared sauna. <laughs> so I forgot about that part. Now I need to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's good. All right, so getting back to the electrically expanded water is what I call the, the fourth phase of the water. Yeah. So you have in hydroxy, you have a mixture of gases. There's actually six different constituents. 
You have first your diatomic hydrogen and oxygen, which everybody's saying is the hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, and that's good. The second is the diatomic oxygen, which is O2, and that's good. We breathe it, we need it. Uh, and the third constituent is the, what I call the electrically expanded water, which is water, which is still H2O. It hasn't split into hydrogen and oxygen. It's still water molecule, but it has soaked up electricity, electrons specifically, until it's become a gaseous form of water, which is not water vapor or steam, okay? It's a, it's a plasma. It's a, it's a negatively charged plasma form of water. And it's negatively charged because it has all these extra electrons attached to it that are spinning around and what have you. Well, it turns out that those electrons are bioavailable. When you, I'll digress just a, just a second and say, uh, you, you know what ORP is, oxygen reduction potential? Yes, I've, I've heard of it and it's, yes. Okay, I, uh, quick, go ahead. quick explanation. Yeah. O, ORP is measured in millivolts. And when you measure, you, you stick this probe in the water and it gives you a reading, it'll give you a millivolt reading. And what it's actually measuring is electrons. So you can actually, uh, and zero is neutral, just like uh, pH zero is, uh, sorry, pH seven is neutral in the pH scale. Zero is neutral. And if it goes negative, it means it has extra electrons. And if it goes positive, it means it's deficient in electrons. So if you drink positive ORP water, which most tap water is, by the way, uh -huh. almost, uh, almost positive 400 in, in most cases, you wow. drink that water, it actually sucks electrons from your body to neutralize that water you just drank. You're wow. actually sucking energy from your body. But if you drink water with an ORP that is negative, okay, it's counterintuitive because you think positive is positive and negative is not, not good, but in this case, negative is best. And if you drink water that is ORP negative, preferably uh, negative 200, 300, 400, something like that, without cheating, that's another story. Um, so it has extra electrons. And you actually give energy to your body. Your body is given those electrons that it needs. And, and if your body is sick or under stress or has compromised energy generation systems, which most sick bodies have, is when by the time you get sick, you've used up all your energy reserves and your energy generation systems are just running full bore, but they're just not, uh, are not providing enough. Yeah. So you need that energy to heal. So with the Brown's gas, you not only get the hydrogen and oxygen, but you also get the electrically expanded water, which is giving you those electrons necessary to, for health and healing. And then there's three other uh, constituents. One is water vapor or moisture. That's just natural, it's water. Uh, and then there's a small amount of monatomic oxygen and hydrogen. So those are the six constituents that you get when you uh, have the Brown's gas, when you breathe it, or when you put it in the water, it, it charges up the water with those with those sort of things. So that's, that's fascinating. Yeah. I mean, that to have that um, that the health benefit of that uh, that not gaseous but that plasma. Yes, I right? call it electrically expanded water or EXW. Electri oh, that's electrically expanded water. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's wow. That's fascinating. And so that's what that's one of the things that really not just the hydrogen, but that too. So so those two things. Well, the hydrogen, what that does, it has it's H two, right? Hydrogen. Yes, yeah, correct. So so it it lends an electron, right? So so basically, it's like the best antioxidant ever, right? Because um, because it so when the oxidants or free radicals go like trying to grab, you know, from the next. <laughs> to grab another, you know, steal an electron so that they, and yeah. then they, they do that chain reaction. Um, so it can take it from the hydrogen, right? So, well, so what happens is it actually combines because the hydrogen gives it what it needs and they combine and form water. So that it, it, goes out of your body. It, it, it literally becomes water. So that when you do the hydrogen and you have the free radical going around that, that can oxidize things, yeah. it essentially oxidizes to the hydrogen and you end up with water. So totally neutral, and you need the water in you anyway. So it's a perfect antioxidant. There's no byproducts or, or side effects. Plus, in antioxidant land, it's, the, it's a selective antioxidant because there are oxidative things in your body that you want, particularly men. It, and, uh, and in this case, I'm talking about nitrous, uh, nitric oxide. Mm -hmm. You need that nitric oxide. First of all, it's part of what helps form uh, the easy zone uh, water that's around your capillaries and everything flows better and what have you. But yeah. because of it, it actually helps the, the body, the, the vascular structure be able to 
uh, expand and, and uh, men can do what they do because uh, <laughs> their, <laughs> their, their, uh, their things can expand. <laughs> right, right. So, so, it, so by, by taking overdoses, I'm calling overdoses, uh, massive doses of uh, antioxidants like uh, vitamin C, for example, it actually soaks up all the uh, free radicals, including the ones you don't want, that you do want. You don't want them taken away. Um, whereas the hydrogen is very selective. It only gets the bad ones. That, I didn't know that. That's really interesting. And, and then also vitamin C, um, it also has to break down in your body and creates even more free radicals. Um, not that it's bad, I mean, it, but it's, it's not probably the best way if you're going to do, I mean, it's great for, for health and healing, but I think what you have, this Brown's gas, um, just does so much more. And you talk about um, rejuvenation and like if you want cleaner skin and I mean, clearer skin, younger skin, firmer, I don't know about firmer skin, but, um, but it probably because you had mentioned in an interview that I heard you on um, that it, um, that the, one of the first things besides two years later that you never got sick, um, <laughs> but, but that your muscles got harder. Exactly. Like, now, that's it. when I started breathing the gas. When I was just drinking the water, that didn't happen. I just didn't get sick. But, uh, but my actual muscles got, got hard. And wow. I wasn't exercising, and they, and they just they hardened up. And I was able to go out and do things that, I, that I, was, I, I shouldn't have been able to do. And that's pretty typical with the people who are reporting back to me. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, for example, um, I just did an interview with a fellow that uh, went out and started – he plays tennis, and he was – he was playing tennis against 20 and 30 year olds and doing things he didn't, he wasn't able to do for over a decade and, wow. and winning because he, he, and he was only three or four days into the, the uh, breathing of the gas, but his, his uh, muscles became functional again. I guess maybe that's the best way to say it. Yep. So, so functional, but harder, like stronger. So if you're working out, you actually are building, harder, but also speed, like it wasn't just strength. It was, it oh, was the speed. speed. Wow. He could, he could, is, uh, and um, one of the things that I, I really noticed, uh, now I'm, I'm 60 years old, mm -hmm. and I was having trouble standing on one foot to put my, my sock on my other foot. Uh, balance. Without, without kind of tipping, and, and yeah, balance, exactly. And that is totally taken care of. I, have, I, I, can, uh, I can do balance things that I wasn't able to do for a long time. Yeah. Let's see, stand up and do it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to I'm not see sure if the camera would show it. I want you to do the tree pose. <laughs> the tree pose, yeah. So, um, okay, well, that's really cool. I, I love that. Um, let's talk about the, the viruses and things like that. Um, things, I mean, I don't know what you, the testimonials you're getting back from, but like herpes or any viral type of, um, I mean, does it, I know that it, does it just allow the body to heal or just because it takes care of it or how does it, I don't even know about that. I'm just, I'm throwing a virus out there, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it, it, what does it work with that? Have you gotten any reports back? Cause I know that, and we'll talk about the autoimmune cause my sister has rheumatoid arthritis and I've really been looking for things to help her with that. And I've reached and, and hydrogen really helps, you know, getting yes. that hydrogen. all forms of high, uh, arthritis. It yeah, helps. Okay. It's so, absolutely fantastic. But let's go with viral first. What okay, is no, viruses, uh, my personal thing that happened was, now when I started breathing the gas, I had no idea what to expect. I wasn't actually expecting anything. All I was trying to do is show that it was safe to breathe because I'd had this epiphany that if you mix the hydrogen with enough air, it's no longer explosive and you're not going to splatter your lungs on the walls. So you <laughs> want to make sure that it's safe. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want that for myself, and I didn't want that for my customers. You know, strangely enough. Okay, so the uh, I didn't expect anything, and so one of the first things that happened was that my psoriasis disappeared. Now I grew up on a cattle ranch. We didn't have electricity. We had outhouse. We had we were way back in the bush. It was I I, I rode a horse more than rode in a in a vehicle. I was, and I, and I had thick calluses on my hands and and on my skin. And so I grew up thinking that this thick white peeling skin was normal, callous. And it wasn't until I started breathing the gas and the skin just peeled off me. It was a little disconcerting because it came off in fairly large flakes. And underneath was baby smooth skin. Baby skin, it was, it was the smoothest, and it's still that way. I have the smoothest elbows and knees I've ever had in my whole life. Wow. So 
Yeah, it was it was incredible. And my feet, all all it just came off. But a little bit later, I, I suddenly realized that I I didn't have my scars anymore. And I'll get back to that. But but when I was checking around for my scars, I noticed that my warts were gone. And that's that's more directly applicable. So I had hand warts and I had a, a planter's wart on my foot. And and it would feel like a stone in my shoe. Every three months or so I'd have to nip it, clip it. And uh, in order to keep it smooth enough so I could walk because it felt like a stone in my shoe. And I noticed that that had not happened. I looked at the bottom of my foot and it was gone. Now, a wart is a virus. Warts are viruses, okay? Uh -huh. And I'd had these warts since I was nine years old. So wow. it's like 50 years. And, and I started breathing a gas and within about six to eight months, they were gone. They were totally gone. So now, now hydrogen is a food. It's not a drug or anything like that, but it's a food the body needs. You're 62% hydrogen by volume, 24% oxygen, 12% carbon, and 2% everything else, just 2%. And so when they're talking about all the vitamins and minerals and everything that are, what have you, they're only talking about parts of the 2%. Wow. The macronutrient that you need is the hydrogen. And we can get back into hydrogen deficiency, but it comes back to when you're hydrogen deficient, the first thing that goes is your regeneration system, your rejuvenation system, because the body is an amazing machine. This, this thing that we, that we live in is absolutely phenomenal. And like if you're getting hypothermia, it knows to cut off heat to the extremities. It, it shuts off in order to preserve core temperature. Right. So if you're hydrogen deficient, it starts shutting off extraneous things. Okay, I don't need to rejuvenate right now because I need to stay alive. Okay, and then the next things that go is the immune system. I don't care if I get sick, it's, as long as I'm alive. And so, and then of course the body organs start shutting down like my late wife, and then it becomes your death. So the body tr does its best. So when you start supplementing with the hydrogen, the first thing that starts coming back online is your immune systems. And, you, and your immune systems are fantastic. They get rid of all kinds of viruses and bacteria and pathogens. And the uh, and cancer, like you're one of the reasons that most people are getting cancer these days, in my opinion. I'm not an MD, and this isn't uh, to, to uh, uh, diagnose or or treat any illness or <laughs> all that <laughs> medical disclaimer. Yes, <laughs> this is but all what happens <laughs> is, in, in my experience, the immune systems start turning back on. Now, mm -hmm. everybody is different, everybody is different, so uh. Different people have different immune systems uh, that are turning back on and all this kind of thing. And that's why some people, they'll notice one of the weirdness is a rash. They'll notice if they have too much hydrogen too fast that they'll get a rash. And what that is is the body ejecting something through the skin, which is one of the major limit, limitation or limitative or, organs of the body. Right. The long one. And so you get a rash on your skin because the body is ejecting this stuff. It has nothing to do with the hydrogen. It has to do with the, the body getting rid of the poisons that it's accumulated and it couldn't get rid of. Wow. So in my case, my immune system got strong enough to kill those viruses that I'd had for 50 years in my body. <laughs> and how long was that? Like six to eight months? Yeah, in, the, in that range, yeah. And, and, and that was about the same time that I noticed that my scars were gone. I had a, a good size, like a, about a centimeter squared, a uh, scar on my forehead where I'd been doing something stupid. I, I had scars all over my body for doing things stupid. And this is one of the cases where I should have just been gone. Obviously, they had a plan for me because I was operating a, uh, uh, an air wrench with, that, with the wrong kind of socket. And the so I saw the socket come loose. It jiggled a couple times. And then that sucker hit me right in the forehead hard oh. enough to just knock me backwards. Oh, but wow. didn't penetrate the, the, the skull. Maybe it made me a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but there was blood everywhere you know i had to get a scalp wound you know like yeah, yeah. i looked over at my brother and i said is it bad he says, oh, <laughs> not so bad <laughs> that's a brother for you <laughs> no, no kidding i, I was i was uh, pretty much in shock at the time so anyway we we uh, just put a patch on it and it healed but it scarred yeah because if you're hydrogen deficient, which I was even back then, um, the body just puts a patch on something. It doesn't actually heal it. Your stem cells and stuff aren't making skin cells like it should. It just, it just patched it, okay? Wow. Once I started breathing the gas and my immune system came back online and then my regeneration system came back online, 
it replaced that patch with actual skin cells and my scars are gone. That's fascinating. So even like a scar from a knee surgery or hip surgery or any, like a deep surgery? Yes, absolutely. I had a scar, in fact, exactly that. I had a knee surgery back in the days when they hacked the knees apart for this sort of a thing. I had a little piece of cartilage floating around inside my knee because I'd had a, a skiing accident, which was yeah. literally, I <laughs> fell over backwards above the chalet while I was taking my skis off. And, uh, and twisted my knee, and, and it broke off a little piece Ew. of the cartilage. <laughs> I did not in the chalet, though. It was <laughs> I was, I came all the way down the mountain on my skis. I was taking my skis off, and I fell down. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happened to me, exactly. <laughs> okay. So and, I was, oh, I had, they, they popped my knee open and fished that little bone out, that little, and, and then they, they sewed it up, and I had a half-inch wide, three-inch scar on my uh, knee for the rest of my life until now until and now. it's gone it's totally gone and as far as that goes even my heart i had a heart murmur all my life since oh, i was a child and this last physical that i had full physical I, I got a new doctor so he just did everything and i said i have a heart murmur and he says no you don't <laughs> <laughs> and, and so it just so it, it's just because the hydrogen, so this is not just the hydrogen, this is the Brown's gas. This is all of it, right? No, said, this so is the hydroxy, the Brown's gas, the HHO, whatever you want to call it. Not yeah. just hydrogen, we're talking next generation. So out, yeah. out there, there's all these people that are just learning about hydrogen, and, right. and, and it's good, and, 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 and needed. Yeah. But man, I just jump right over. Like back in the day when they were, uh, when they were um, in, in my own home here, this is LED lighting that's, that's lit here, when I was when I was re rebuilding this house, uh, I I just went right to LED lighting. When they were going from incandescent to uh, compact fluorescent, mm -hmm. and and uh, and and that was all the phase. No, no, I just jumped right over that because I already knew about LEDs. I'm an alternative energy researcher, and and so I was I was actually at first even building my own LED light bulbs just from. But don't LED. they don't they pulse and they're they're bad for you? Electromagnetic pulsing, those so mm -hmm. the EM. EMF? No, it depends on the power supply. If, if the oh. power supply has enough capacitance, then it's a straight DC and there's no problem. There's no pulsing at all. Oh, it's, it's when they don't when they don't have enough of power supply that you get the pulsing, and and there are ones out there that that do that. Unfortunately, so how, would, how would my audience know what to look for? Because um, everything I even had talked to an uh, electrical engineer and and he said LEDs are like horrible. And, um, and so I really want to understand that. Like, how, how would my audience, how would I find a, an LED bulb that's safe? Uh, is it something that, that it reads or says, or how do you know? That's a really good question, because it really has nothing to do with the LED itself. It has to do with the power supply. Because the LED, for example, LED, you, on most modern vehicles, they now have LED lights. Yes. And the LED uh, uh, reverse, uh, sorry, uh, stop lights, so when they press on the brake pedal, the lights come on uh, uh, quite a few milliseconds faster than the old uh, filament ones. And so they actually help prevent accidents because it comes on so fast. Oh. The LEDs are practically instantaneous. So when you have a, a sine wave that's 50, 60 hertz, mm -hmm. and they don't have a power supply with enough capacitance to even that out, <clears throat> what happens is you get a 50, 60 hertz uh, pulsing um, with the LEDs and and it really does pulse because it doesn't have this gradual thing on and off like an incandescent does so you see even on incandescent there was a pulsing but it was so light so minimal because it takes time for the filament to the heat up and yeah. cool down so that wasn't really a problem whereas with the LEDs that's a problem and they need to add the capacitance I don't know of anything that requires them to tell you what capacitance it is or what have you I know that my cameras, some of my cameras, can see the pulsing. So if I'm looking at a um, at an LED light or just shining it in the room, and, yeah. and I can see the pulsing, it, it it looks like waves in the in the camera. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. I can, I can see that, and so I know that those particular LED bulbs need to have more capacitance, and then they'll be just fine. There's there's nothing wrong with the bulbs so themselves. It's the power supply. More capacitance means like more um okay so a capacitance is like a little battery and, <laughs> totally. and what happens is when it charges up it then feeds 
uh, a DC DC and it, it keeps getting a pulse to keep it charged, mm -hmm. but it gives a steady DC uh, um, um, current or voltage, excuse me, voltage to the LEDs because the LEDs have a certain current draw. And if you can keep the uh, capacitance high enough, then it'll feed steady to the uh, to the LEDs, and there won't be that pulsing. So I guess you just kind of need to you need to find somebody that can um, look at it or look through a camera. Or are you talking about like your your iPhone or camera? I, I don't know if iPhone camera would do it. Uh, I'm looking up at my uh, another monitor right now. I have uh, security cameras all around my house. And some, some of the LED bulbs do have that, and I can see in my security cameras that pulsing that I was just talking about. Okay, will this, will your um, Aqua Cure, will that help with like 5G? And I mean, is that going to help the immune system be so buff, <laughs> if you will, that it'll help with that, that pulsing? Because that goes, that goes, that 5G and the LED and I mean that pulse, like smart meters and all of that that's like really messing with the cells and the water and, and like a microwave, you know what I mean? And yeah. just, you know what I'm talking it, about. Just it like really, that. really is your feet. And, and you've hit one on another one of the real advantages of hydrogen. Now the hydroxy has the hydrogen, so you're getting this advantage. Mm -hmm. um, and it has to do with the ability of hydrogen to prevent radiation damage. Wow. If your body is hydrated enough, you, uh -huh. and I have a personal story for that as well. Uh, with, with hydrogen stories <laughs> the uh, it, you, you don't get the damage okay at first and and if it, you're already radiation damaged it helps the body heal from it okay so my story on this is I, I went to speak at a symposium uh, on Brown's gas and I was four hours in the air in the in an airplane up in the 30,000 plus feet yes. and it's typical that when you that your blood gets damaged by the radiation that's up there Yes. And when I got to the symposium, out in the auditorium, they had uh, a woman, I'd seen her before at different, audit uh, at, at different symposiums like this, and I was expecting to see her because I really wanted to see what my blood looked like in a dark field microscope. Oh, did and, you uh, do that? Yes, I did. I the did. Oh, it was, it was wonderful. It was great. And, and we did a whole bunch of other people at the same time with the similar uh, thing. Awesome. So we, we got a good baseline of what would happen if you, if you uh, breathe the hydrogen and, uh, and what happens to your blood, and then when you stop breathing, and what happens to your blood, and, the, and that sort of thing. However, the point in this case was the hydrogen, uh, the uh, radiation damage. Mm -hmm. I, I told the woman that I had just been flying for four hours in the, in the uh, airplane, and she said, essentially, she said, I don't believe you. She says, I'm not going to call you a liar to your face, <laughs> <laughs> but, but there is no evidence whatsoever in your blood that you've been at high altitudes for four hours. None. <gasps> Exactly, exactly. Wow. And, and is this just because you, you did you, were you breathing it um, while you were on the plane? No, 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 no. I just breathed it normally oh. like in the morning and the evening. Yep, my blood was just saturated with enough hydrogen that oh. as the radiation came in and if there was any damage, it just fixed it. And, and by the time that she had the, uh, did the thing, because evidently this damage, um, it, it, it's persistent for several days after you uh, you uh, are in the air. It's not something that just goes away right away when you when you get down on the ground. So even if you earth and you connect back to the ground, because um, I know when you do that, the live blood analysis, like the, the cells no longer clump. The red, um, they get, they... Yeah, they call it roll loop. Yeah, they get loose and can move. Um, right. I wanted to ask you, because um, your machine is pretty expensive, and um, but not for health. I mean, you know what I mean. If you go to a hospital or do something, it's it's it, to me, it's like I don't care. <laughs> it's like it's so important for so many things. But like I, I take this um, before your machine, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna and I'm going to Italy, and um, and this, you know, it's uh, you know, five sciences. Patrick Flanagan. He's yes. like. <laughs> so I don't know if you know him, but I figure yes. he's an inventor. You're an inventor, but. Um, then yes. I heard that this has these little uh, micro clusters, whatever it is. The, what, what is it that it has? Um, it has, let me see, silica, uh, oh, it has micro cluster, mega hydrate micro cluster. I don't know, but what, what I learned recently is that it actually taxes the body because it has to break apart that micro, the micro cluster from the hydrogen. 
And yeah. so it's actually making the body worse and not to, you know, because I promote this, right? <laughs> and when I, and, and I, I don't want to promote something that is um, hurting the body. Can you, do you, can you even talk about it? And nothing against Patrick Flanagan. I love the guy. He's amazing. Yes, he is amazing, and his technology is good. Uh, it, it it does provide energy, um, like he's got the black light and all that kind of stuff. So, it, um, uh, just a, a little aside, he it, when he needed the hydrogen, the actual hydrogen, he, mm -hmm. he bought one of my machines. Okay. Yeah, just just like the like one behind you. <laughs> okay, it, that's we good know each know. other. Okay, I, I, um, I thought so. You're both inventors. Well, it's, there's a lot of inventors, but we we kind of went in the same genre a little bit so <clears throat> what i'd recommend actually as far as the hydrogen goes where you're just putting hydrogen in that the body doesn't have to work for is uh this the c60 product now that this particular one they call purple power okay yeah. so c60 purple power and mm -hmm. that's you can see there yeah, i can see so, it really well yeah, yeah. so okay. that's so, but let's for the what, what happens oh. here is it, it it makes essentially a carbon ball okay yeah. that absorbs hydrogen uh -huh. And the reason that that's important, particularly with, with what you're going to be doing when you're traveling, is when you, when you breathe in the hydrogen and you have this in your blood, it, which there's some in your blood already, uh, but this gives you more of it, it acts like a battery and it absorbs the hydrogen and then releases it a little at a time so that your body gets, uh, gets, gets full of it, but not, and not super saturated, but it, it stores extra so that then as the hydrogen is going out of your blood, to keep things balanced, it keeps putting more hydrogen into your blood, so it keeps the hydrogen level higher in your blood for a longer period of time. The C60 doesn't do anything by itself. It's it's totally just a battery for the hydrogen. Oh and, wow! And that's when, yeah. So what about nanotechnology and C60? Do you know anything about that? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not too conversant on uh, nanotechnology. Okay, but, um, like Tony Pantelaresco, I don't know if you know who he is, but he says no, the C60 is um, probably not the best for you. But, I, but then I've heard other things as well from others. So I was just wondering if you knew anything about that. Yeah, um, but, so that product that you just showed, because you showed it, and, and that's on screen, but for those who are listening on the, uh, for the podcast, what, what's the name of that product that you just showed? Uh, they're calling it, well, C60, and I'm not seeing... Um, like what brand is that? It, purple power, just C60 purple power. If you if you uh, if you Google it, it'll be there. And I'm not making any kind of a commission or anything off it. I'm just saying that my my research into a, a, the various C60 type uh, thing with the carbon. See, the hydroxy gas works very well with carbon based materials, and we are carbon based um, right. entity. We're mostly hydrogen, but but carbon is the, one of our major constituents, and. Uh, this is a carryover from my uh, previous life <laughs> when I was uh, helping hydrocarbon fuels burn better, okay? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so the, the hydroxy gas would act like a catalyst and help the hydrocarbons burn better. And the reason being is it would, it would lower the, I'm going to have a couple of technical terms here, it lower the endothermic energy necessary so that then you would have more exothermic heat. And what that means is, the energy necessary to break the atomic bonds of the fuel apart, because the fuel can't actually burn until it's all broken apart. And once it's broken apart, then it can combine with oxygen, and that's called oxidation, and burn. And, that's, and, and when it does that, it has the exothermic heat, the, the heat release. And the endothermic energy is the energy it takes from that heat and uses to break apart more bonds, so the flame continues, self-propagation is what it's called. So okay. in this particular case, the, the uh, hydroxy, lowers the amount of energy necessary to break apart the bonds. So it makes everything work better. And it does that inside our bodies as well, any of the carbon-based things that, it, that it's doing with. So in this case, when you put the uh, uh, C60, uh, little buckyballs, carbon buckyballs in your body, right. then it absorbs the hydrogen and, like I say, acts like that battery where it, it releases it as necessary, wow. uh, as the body needs. That, now, that's fantastic. Boy, I sure hope you're enjoying this interview as much as I am enjoying interviewing George Wiseman. He is so amazing. So we're going to take a quick break here to announce a new offering for you. You know, I always say your health is your number one asset. That's mentally, physically, and spiritually. The whole, a holistic approach, the whole you. So I am always looking for anything that will help me and you to better ourselves on all of those levels. 
On the spiritual level, I've gotten certified as an advanced Akashic Records practitioner, and I give readings, readings that will help you to find your purpose, get clarity about where you are now in your life, and give you tools to help you move yourself forward in life. So the records are here to help you to move through life more easily, providing clarity, affirmation, and guidance from your most trusted spiritual advisors, who I have lovingly coined your cosmic cheerleaders. These are not psychic readings. They're not predictive. They help you to see the beauty of you, discover your purpose all at the soul level. You can go to lennymotivates.com to find out more and to book your reading today. You can also join me in my free Facebook group, Cosmic Cheerleaders, where we explore how to find your purpose and I teach you how to get into your own Akashic Records, how to read your own Akashic Records. It's really cool. That's Cosmic Cheerleaders as a Facebook group. Or you can find out more and book your guidance session at lennymotivates.com. So let's get back with George Wiseman as he gets more into the cutting edge of technology when it comes to true body hydration. You know, we don't give medical advice here, but we are talking about true hydration of the cells so that you can feel more vibrant and live longer without chronic disease, autoimmune diseases, and feel and look more youthful with fewer aches and pains and less scars and leading a healthful life with full functionality and mobility of your body and your mind. So let's get back, but also at the end of the episode or in the show notes, get a 10% discount on George's AquaCure machine when you use the code Lenny Motivates. Now, back to the Wild and Free Healthy You podcast. What can you take? Like, Because I'm going to be gone for nine days, and I can't take this big arse machine with me. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you take? Like, is, is there, can you take a hydrogen pill? I mean, is that, is that something that's to take while you're, while you're traveling or something? Yeah, um, I don't have. I, I have several. I I don't have a good one here, but uh, this this uh, seven point two is is decent, and it's one that you can just swallow. But it but there are better ones out there that you mix with water, and uh, I like this one because you swallow it, and any hydrogen produced just simply goes into your blood, and you're not wasting any. But well, uh, is mega hydrate good? It it's it's good. It okay, I, but, okay, but that's better. Nothing nothing against. Mega hydrate, but I think there are ones that are better. Yeah. There's there's a there's a um, a company out there that I think is really on the leading edge of this particular type of uh, hydrogen tablet uh, technology, and it's uh, the website for it is drinkhrw.com. D r n c drink h r w. So it's hydrogen rich water hrw.com, and uh, I think their particular product is is about as good as it gets. Okay. And, so for people traveling and stuff, this is to, to go to this website, drinkhrw.com, and, to, and, and if they can't yet afford your machine. Right. Um, exactly. Then this is so a, they're at least getting the hydrogen, and, they, okay. and that's, that's the basic. Now, yeah. the, the uh, electrically expanded water enhances everything, supercharges the whole thing, uh -huh. but, the, uh, but you got to at least get the hydrogen. Yeah. And so I think those particular tablets are, are good for travel. Now, and, and it's, it's not a big deal if you're gone for a couple of weeks from the machine. How many years of your life have you been not with your machine? <laughs> you <know? laughs> I've had it for three days. <laughs> you, could have a, you could have it not be there for a little while. Although I tell you, it's, it's uh, with myself. I wouldn't uh, saturated. When, when I'm sitting at the computer, it's no problem just uh, sitting here and, and breathing the gas for hours at a time. <laughs> yeah, it's a love. yeah, and you yeah. know what? You're 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 so um, so good with everything that you put in there because you give two cannulas, which is awesome, and um, you know so that you can. For those who don't know what that is, it just goes into your nose like an oxygen. Like if you had an oxygen tank, you, that little plastic thing that goes into the nose. Um, that's for our podcast listeners, and um, and you just attach it to the machine, and um, and you just sit there for however long five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Well, I'm doing twenty now. <laughs> In three days, I know. I know you said go slow. Yes. I don't. I don't. Oh, go slow. <laughs> and you went up to forty. <laughs> I know, but I didn't know. I didn't know. I hadn't read the manual. My hubby, oh. hubby said you need to read the manual, and but and he had said it at forty for him. And, uh, <laughs> and I just did it very happily and had that fantabulous <laughs> experience while we were shopping for furniture. So uh, <laughs> it really was, too. It felt so good. Okay, so I talked about 
Oh, okay. Now another product. Okay. Does this do cell signaling? Because I, and is that the hydrogen or is there, does it do cellular signaling? Do you know what I'm talking about? Like that cell signal. So cell to cell talk, the communication, because look, the, I take this every day and it's very expensive. It's like, you know, I mean, for four of these, for, you know, cause this is a quart plus it's heavy in the shipping and all of that. And I was reading about hydrogen water. So I know yours is Brown's gas but I read that it does cell signaling. Do you know anything about that? I, my, I, can't, I, can't, um, I can't tell you what the mechanism is. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you that, again, I have a personal story about this one. Oh, is, good. Uh, <laughs> cell signaling has to do with uh, um, uh, communication and nerves are part of the communication that is necessary. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had neuropathies on the fronts of my legs. My shins had totally no feeling in them, they were numb. And wow. the palm of my left hand had been, had gone totally numb, so I was I was oh actually God. afraid that I was I was going to lose the function of my hand because it was going numb. Like I I I knew it was nerves, and nerves are necessary for moving. And so, um, and that happened fairly rapidly. <clears throat> the psoriasis was like three weeks. It was done. It was done. But the uh, the um, uh, I could feel in the palm of my hand the feeling coming back. And when I was losing it, it went from the base close to the wrist and was just going up my hand toward my fingers. Yeah. And, and as I breathed the gas over days of time, and, and, and it took about uh, two months, two, two and a half months, I, I gradually was feeling the feeling coming back in my hand. It was coming back down toward my wrist until I have full feeling in my hand again. And uh, interestingly enough, the arthritis disappeared in my hands as well. I had full function and, and strength and, and no pain whatsoever in my hands for arthritis. So getting back to the, uh, and, and then I noticed. I better start doing my gas. I had. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, this, all of these things are just, it's just fascinating what yes. it can do. And it's basically, it's just replenishing the body with what it needs. It's just, it's nutrients, it's food. It's what yeah. the body needs. Wow. So, so uh, to finish that, I noticed suddenly that, like, because uh, I was touching the fronts of my legs one day for some reason, and I noticed I had feeling back in the fronts of my legs. All the all the neuropathy had disappeared in my shins as well. So, um, anything hydrogen can do, the Browns gas can do. Plus, because huh. you've got the extra energy necessary, like any cell signaling is going to involve electrons in one way or another. It's, mm -hmm. yeah. it's you need those potential voltages. And there's a huge amount of potential voltages between the cells, uh, mm -hmm. enough that that's where essentially spontaneous human combustion can come about because people can actually get to the point where they just have where so much energy. Explode. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, but wait a minute, can you take too much of this gas and explode? No, no. I, I actually realized I was I was I was <laughs> feeding that information. It <laughs> is that can happen. Oh no, no, no. You you can breathe this twenty four seven. That's an entirely different kind of a reaction where you you have oh. a chemical with oxygen and, and things like that okay, and good. obviously it doesn't happen very often how many people know of anybody that that, uh, that suddenly burned themselves in their chair right i've only heard of that in a movie <laughs> yes exactly oh. <laughs> yeah. um it, it has happened but it's probably like one in a billion shot or whatever it's like and <laughs> and <laughs> anyway um so getting back it, it, when you're breathing this in you are getting the energy it is giving you energy that your body needs to heal like like we're not even we're not talking like it's giving you energy from zero and you're giving more we are so energy de deficient it's going to take a lot of time years to uh -huh. even just get our bodies back up to where they should be functioning yeah so um i want to ask about a couple of other things so like i have a floater in my eye and it's it, when i did a 23 day water only fast and um and it half of it went away i didn't even expect that it was amazing um but so half of it's still there <laughs> and so, annoying uh, it, it was not really because i can barely see it it's, it looks like a strange parasite is what it is i'm sure it is a parasite i've, seen, uh, yeah, I've, I've had things like that in my past as well does it and my, my, my eyesight i didn't have it at the time i started breathing but i have had them come and go and uh but i i'm not wearing glasses and if you look back, I've worn glasses since I was nine years old. And if you look back in my uh, previous photos, you'll see I've, I was always wearing glasses. Wow. But my eyesight has improved to the point I don't wear glasses anymore. Wow. I, I do have some cheaters when I need to read real fine print yeah. and, and what have you, but that's it. No, nope. no glasses. 
Oh, man, I had another question that was, what was it? Uh, Floaters? No, it was before that. I was going to ask you something else. But um, Oh, well, I, well, one thing I don't want to forget is um, people with diabetes. So their neuropathy is such a big deal for people with diabetes. Um, the, the insulin resistance, is that something that this, I mean, does this help to regulate the insulin? Um, absolutely. One of the biggest causes of diabetes, in my opinion, and this was one of the symptoms that my, my late wife got, in, the, in her lupus, when her organs started to fail, she got diabetes because her pancreas started to fail. And we discovered from our research that there's, there's several different things, um, and, and I'll just put that out there really quickly. Um, one thing that happens with diabetes is the body loses the ability to turn cyanocobalamin, which is B12, into methylcobalamin, which is also B12, but the bioavailable form of it. Mm -hmm. and uh, and that causes the neuropathies, okay, of the feet and what have you, because the nerves need that bioavailable B12 in order to form the nerve sheaths and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, coincidentally enough, because that's the way the universe works, we actually cured a cat of type 2 uh, diabetes, which is insulin resistance. There's no such thing as, it's not diabetes, it's the opposite of diabetes, type 1 diabetes. But, and they treat it the same, and, and that's, it's like pouring gasoline on a fire with insulin, that's right. Because what happens with type two diabetes is the body, the pancreas is overproducing insulin. And the cells are getting force fed, so they, they become insulin resistant. And so the, the, the disease is actually insulin resistance. Now what the doctors do is prescribe more insulin to force feed the cells, of course, so the, the cells become even more insulin resistant. Where yeah. the thing that you have to do is actually fast. What, what type 2 diabetes is, is it overeating disease. You're eating too much of the wrong thing, mm -hmm. simple carbohydrates and stuff. Mm -hmm. Cut that out, and your cells say, oh, we're starving, and they become more insulin uh, they, 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 um, accepting, and, they, uh, and, and you just simply don't eat and, and at, at just do some serious fasting, and, mm -hmm. the, uh, and your insulin resistance goes away, and suddenly your uh, blood sugars drop. Obviously they drop if you're not eating anything. So your blood sugars almost immediately normalize when you, uh, particularly if you're overweight, because the secondary system kicks into gear and you actually get in, in, um, energy, blood sugar from your fat storage. So as long as you're fasting, you're doing several things right all at the same time. You're getting rid of the uh, fat storage. You've normalized your blood sugars you're getting your insulin resistance uh, uh, disappearing. So by the time you start eating again, if you eat properly, where you're not eating too much uh, simple carbs and stuff, your, uh, your, your body has normalized itself and, and you've given your pancreas a rest. So your beta alpha cells all come down. So anyway, that's the thing uh, that they, these, these miracle cures for, uh, for uh, type 2 diabetes. Now, getting back to the hydrogen and hydroxy, yes. Uh, there is, they've done thousands of scientific studies now uh -huh. with hydrogen for health, and they've discovered 100% of the time, without exception, no matter what study they do and, and what ailment, it either directly or indirectly, the hydrogen helps the body heal from whatever it, they're doing the study on. So the, and get this, zero side effects, zero. They did a study of studies, actually hundreds of studies, and to try to find any study that had any side effect whatsoever. There was zero side effects to the hydrogen. It's exactly what the body needs. It's the most perfect food. It's your macronutrient. Because mm -hmm. it's the first thing, hydrogen. Exactly. On the, on the chart. On the periodic scale. When, when, uh, when the universe, universe was formed, no matter if they think it was spontaneous or uh, 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 intelligently designed, which... I actually go more to the intelligent design because how could you ever get this without uh, it? I, I'm a scientist, okay? Yeah. And I know that if you leave up, uh, uh, if you have a pile of bricks in the woods mm -hmm. and you come back in 10 years, you're going to expect that it'll just be a pile of bricks or the pile will have dispersed more, okay? Mm -hmm. That's called increasing an entropy. And if you have a brick house, and you come back in 50, 100, 200 years, you're more likely to find a pile of bricks. You are never going to expect that you put a pile of bricks in the woods and come back in 10 years and find a brick house. Okay, that's organization. 
And organization takes intelligence. It's not, it's not uh, oh, that's spontaneous or anything. Bad. So you can't, you can't have anything that, uh, like all of life, anything to do with life is all, all intelligence. It's intelligently designed, and life accumulates energy and builds things. So the whole universe being built had to be built by, in my opinion, an intelligent life. Because otherwise it would just be an amorphous uh, nothing of, of energy. I agree. I love your analogy. I've got to pick up my dog. She's scratching at me. So <laughs> I want to ask a couple of questions. She's a little, she needs a bath. Um, but anyway, what about like speaking of baths, I want to talk about using, the, you, have, you have this little thing with, that comes with the machine that to use topically. And um, I, I don't know how, I don't think there's a, I think we have to get a, a plastic tube or something. It seems to be missing or, or I don't know how to use it. But, um, but what does that do, like using it topically, like to spot? It's called a spot thing. What do you spot call it? Spot applicator, yes. Spot applicator. A spot thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That works. Okay. Okay. So so it's white and kind of round and, and accordion-like, and you can adjust it to different uh, um, uh, heights or sizes. And yeah. like if you want to put it on a wound or psoriasis or uh, oh, some right. people, hmm. uh, an eye or... There it is. Yep. So for it's those like that. Watch make it bigger or littler. Yep. It just collapses. So, um, and it has the for the for the little not the cannula but the, well the the plastic the hose. Yep. 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 You can put the hose right in there, and yeah. it seals right in. You have you, you your your aquacure should have come with a six foot length of hose, which has an outer diameter exactly the same as the inner diameter of that, and you oh. just stick it in there, and uh, and then you put the other side of it onto your bubbler, drinking water bubbler. So as the gas comes off your drinking water bubbler, because I, I designed the systems with what I call a twofer. So whenever you're using the gas, you're also making your drinking water. Oh. So if you're using a spot applicator, you're also making your drinking water. Yeah. So, or, or you can use the water itself. Like the very first time in 1996, one of my customers told me about uh, using uh, essentially Brown's Gas for Health. Um, he told me that he took and bubbled the gas through water and enriching the water with the gas, and then he used the bubbled water on a melanoma on his forehead. Wow. Now, skin cancer is one of the most aggressive cancers there is, okay? It's, it's nothing to fool around with. So I have no idea why this man even thought of doing this. It makes, but he did. But he did, okay. So then he just changed out the water in the cotton ball from time to time, and he just put it in a, in a plastic bottle cap, and he, and he taped it to his forehead and over the melanoma, and in three weeks' time, that melanoma was gone. It was, it was no, it was just straight skin. He'd actually, his body had healed the, uh, the skin cancer, That's which is, fascinating. which is another thing that the, uh, with the Brown's gas does is it helps the body immune systems come back online so it can recognize when cells are, are bad and get rid of them. So that's why the cancers disappear and stuff. It's all part of the immune system thing. So all right. Getting back to, I, I just want to finish that particular story and say, I didn't believe him, okay? I flat <laughs> out didn't believe him. I didn't scoff in his face, but I, but I and, and being an inventor, I try to keep an open mind, so I told other people what he told me. And again, this is that pyramid I was talking about. So even though I didn't believe him, I distributed the information anyway. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of my other customers started trying it and getting back to me with health results which I still had trouble believing because I was working with a combustible gas and I was using it for <laughs> engine fuel and things. So I, I just didn't think that it could be a health uh, gas. So this is how the mind gets locked into something and you don't, and you don't, and, and it's hard to get past that. Okay. So after 10 years, they did manage to convince me to drink the bubbled water and, uh, and then I didn't get sick for the, and, and I did that for two years. And, and during the this winters when I'd usually get sick, I didn't get sick. And so then I started making machines specifically optimized so people could, could have drink the bubbled water. And, uh, and they started getting back to me with all kinds of hundreds of people getting back to me with the uh, testimonials of the wonderful things that was happening to them. And they kept asking me, could they breathe the gas? Now I knew that gas was explosive. So I said, no, and I was wrong again. Okay. That, that's a, that's an occupational hazard of being an inventor. I'm wrong a lot. Okay? But once in a while, I find this little piece that like, really changes the world. Okay. So then in, uh, in, in uh, December of 2016, 2015, excuse me, December of 2015, 
a customer sent me a video uh, showing hydrogen bars over in Asia. They're way ahead of us in Asia, by the way, way ahead of us on this. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's whole reasons for it. But anyway, where people could go in and uh, sit in a chair and get a cannula and a treatment with the hydroxy gas. Mm -hmm. And I realized what I should have known right from the beginning. The very first time somebody said, can you breathe the gas? <laughs> I, I realized it, I had the epiphany. As long as you mix it with enough air, it's not explosive. I knew this. I, as long as the intake breath is taking in less than 4% hydrogen, it's not explosive. So you can have the health benefits. You can inhale as long as you're careful not to have to, to do too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. So getting back to my not believing there in the beginning, last year, a German doctor duplicated that exact same thing. A guy on the back of his head, right back here up above the ear, had yeah. cancer on his skin. Mm -hmm. And he uh, and they treated it by just putting a, uh, a shower cap on the, on the person's head and putting the gas up in there. And they gave him treatments every day for three weeks, and it was gone. Wow. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Yep. So, so how, would you, how would you put the gas? Would you put the cannula there, it, like inside of the? Yeah, like, that works. Or this hose I was just telling you about, that six-foot piece of hose. Yep. Okay. Wow. Where can you get this hose, by the way? <laughs> I don't know that it came. Do you get it from like a medical? Well, you, um, I buy it online from Amazon, what have you, in bulk and hundreds of feet rolled. But okay. you can, it's, it's just um, a regular vinyl hose that is a uh, quarter inch outside diameter, eighth inch inside diameter. Okay. And, uh, and it, you, can, you can buy it on Amazon, it, like in 50 foot lengths even or something. But, okay. but I'm pretty sure you would have had it in your, in your thing. You're just not recognizing which one it is. Okay. It's very well, similar to the we'll one that, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about it after because I don't want to um, take time on this. And we're past the hour, so we're going to just, if you want to just keep going because I just have a couple more questions. If you yeah, have time. Ahead. Do you have time? Because this is fascinating to me. I mean, um, this is probably one of the most, I am, um, everything, yeah, I'm a common sense health expert. That's because I uh, actually wrote a book and taught myself how to come back from dying. And, um, and it's common sense, right? To hydrate and to work out, to, you know, to move your body and all that kind of stuff, all the things. But um, th so I'm always on the hunt for um, basically, um, even as an herbalist, um, I'm always looking for the um, unconditional, not unconditional, what's the right, the, um, the not typical, what's the word? <laughs> That's not typical. I can't think of the word, but, oh. huh? Non-conventional, I guess. Yeah, yes, yes, non-conventional. I'm always looking for the non-conventional ways to heal, like DMSO. And, you know, I love to interview people that do these non-conventional ways of healing because the, um, the medical system complex, you know, just wants to do this and, you know, give you all kinds of, um, I don't know, you know, what about with vaccines? Does this, um, would this help the body to heal um, with all the, I mean, all the things, I don't know how you feel about vaccines. Yes. But. Oh, um, okay. Well, you're talking to the converted here, like uh, the, the, the choir or whatever they say. <laughs> this okay. vaccines, vaccines are a medical miracle, just like antibiotics. And I'm going to get into a little bit of it just here because people do need to know this. Um, I, I'll get back to the vaccines in just a second. But one of the reasons that people are hydrogen deficient is because of the modern miracle, modern in the last few, a couple hundred years, of, uh, of antibiotics. As you chew your food, is because you can't get hydrogen from the air like breathing in oxygen. Yes. So you get hydrogen from your food. And mm -hmm. as you chew your food and swallow it and the stomach acids and all the bacteria and everything all the way, all the way to the colon, it happens, the magic happens in the colon in this particular case with this particular thing. Mm -hmm. The bacteria in the colon break off. Remember I was talking about breaking the, high, the carbon hydrogen chains? Yes. It breaks yes. off the hydrogen from the hydrocarbons. And now you have a free hydrogen which then can go through your intestine wall, your colon wall, into your blood. Your, your colon actually breathes, really, honestly. About 12 liters of hydrogen, normally it should be at least 12 liters of hydrogen a day is created in your colon, okay? Um, when that isn't working properly, uh, people, it, first of all, they have nothing, no gas form, or they have uh, very stinky farts because methane is being formed instead of hydrogen. Methane is one carbon and four hydrogens, okay? Uh-huh. So that, and those four hydrogens have now been released out into the air stinkily. And uh, <laughs> instead, of, instead of being going into your blood where they, where, where your body needs it. Okay. Because so they need <laughs> that's, that's the bacteria in the colon, right? <laughs> the so bacteria. those bacteria are especially sensitive to antibiotics. Yes. So when you take antibiotics, you get a short term gain. 
in that uh, you get rid of an infection in your body or whatever, but mm -hmm. you get a long-term detriment in that you've now decimated the very bacteria that produce the hydrogen that your immune system needs to be able to, to help itself not be sick. I'm, so, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that that's bifido, and you can put it in your ear. Um, Wayne Blakely has that. It's uh, really cool. But go ahead. Okay. I'd, I'd like to learn more about that. Okay, so the next thing that happens is it isn't just the antibac an antibiotics. It's the uh, artificial sweeteners. Again, kill that particular bacteria and, uh, and a bunch of other chemicals that you eat. Okay, so we're hydrogen deficient because of the food that we eat and the things that we've done um, mm -hmm. in the environment. All right, now getting back to the viruses. A similar thing happens when you, when you, when you uh, put a, a virus in your body and there are a list of bad ideas why, why you should, use, uh, you should not use um, vaccines. Now, that isn't to say that vaccines are bad, just like antibiotics aren't bad, but they're, they're needed for specific things and not just doing the whole uh, for everybody. Right. Antibiotics are not what cured uh, a polio, uh, hygiene did. Uh, and and a lot of these other diseases and what have you. Yes. So the um, but rabies, for example, here's a really good example of why it'd be a good idea to have a, a, a vaccine, because if you get bit by the by a, a rabid skunk or raccoon or something, dog, cat, you you will get the rabies and it, it's bad unless you get the vaccine because and they put it right in the stomach. Uh, because that's, that's where it needs to go in order to, to do its thing fast enough that it gets ahead of and gives your body the immunity before uh, the rabies uh, virus gets you entirely. But that, so a modern miracle that they were, they were using, uh, they, they mass produced it and, and have done bad things. It's causing autism and all kinds of things. So I'm, I'm definitely on the anti-vaccine side. I'm not anti-vaccine. I'm anti don't use things inappropriately. And okay. so, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I am there. Now, getting back to the hydrogen, yes. Um, there is one thing you can do, like if you're, if you're forced into a vac vaccine situation, mm -hmm. do mega doses of vitamin C, for example, antioxidant. Right. And that will help mitigate the bad side effects of the vaccine because it's helping your body do that sort of thing. Same thing with the hydrogen. If you're having to have the vaccine, the hydrogen, first of all, helps mitigate the initial bad effects and then helps your body heal from the uh, damage that the vaccine causes. And so it comes down to... To, uh, to put over where the vaccine was, the spot reducer, will that help to pull I out? Would, I would, it, it might help, but I would go more with the uh, uh, drinking of the water and breathing of the gas. Yeah, okay. And, and also MMS is, is um, you can make an MMS patch. Over yes, the yes. Vaccine. And, and of course, drink it. And uh, yes, MMS is one of those really good... Um, uh, yeah. Unconventional uh, ways to heal. Unconventional, yes, yes. <laughs> to to kill only the bad things and not the good things. So. Right, and and that brings me to the oxygen therapy, uh, ozone and stuff like that. Don't do the uh, the ozone is good, and I call it poor man's chemo. It stresses the immune system and stuff, makes things work better, but only if you have it, and where the hydrogen actually makes the immune system. But the two together can't be done together. You have to do the, in my opinion, ozone first to mm -hmm. to do what the ozone does, mm -hmm. and then you do the hydrogen to clean up all the free radicals and everything and, and heal what the ozone did. But if oh, you do wow. them together, the hydrogen will neutralize the ozone and you get no benefit from either one. So you have to oh. do one, wait a couple hours, then do the other. Wow, that's really good to know. Yeah, th that's really good for my audience. I, um, that's really good for, for all of us to know. Um, and then um, I wanted to, again, we talked about the topically, the melanoma, but um, the bath, like seeing, so, so now, you know, my audience is mostly women. <laughs> So the anti-aging and sitting in the bath and talk to us a little bit about like the benefits that have come across your, um, a, a, across your testimonials, you know? Yes. From yes. Well, personally, I had really severe crow's feet on my uh, eyes and stuff. I, my skin had started to wrinkle up like it mm -hmm. age does and, and that's pretty much gone. So in it, I can test personally get that. Get close to the camera. Get close. Can you see? Well, you handsome There's, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. And, That's really and my good. hair is growing back. Okay, I have hairs up on my shiny balls. I, I had a real mosquito runway there, I'm telling you. And uh, <laughs> it's thickened and is growing back up. It was, it was bald down to here. So you can yeah. see quite a bit of hair has grown. And oh, I have pictures oh. over time to show. 
and, it, and I didn't expect the thickening. I was seeing hairs grow up here, but I but it, it's also thickening. So Plus, I was up. I was straight gray. I was I was solid white. Okay, in my video when I started to breathe, you, you'll be able to see that. And you can see the dark mustache now. It's a, it's now gray, and and I'm gaining some more back okay. here. I my my hair looks like I did uh, 15 years ago. Okay, wow. so not only am I getting more hair, but I, but it's actually growing back, and the and the skin is smoothing. Now, getting to the bathtub, the uh, the people who take baths by bubbling, they just take the uh, long hose of it that you haven't found yet and put the bubbler, fish stone bubbler on the end and uh, put it in the bathtub while they're breathing. And they say it makes their skin absolutely feel live and tingly and and they get this this uh, this this wonderful feeling on their skin when they when they do that. Does your wife your wife doesn't do it? We actually don't have a bathtub in the house right now. We're doing a total gut renovation. What's your house without a bathtub? <laughs> I've got I've got two showers. That's in the and, and I will have a bathtub. In fact, a jacuzzi tub with all the all the accoutrements. But oh. that's in a room right over here that is not yet <laughs> reconstructed. She's probably like, get it done now. <laughs> oh yes, she is. In fact, we've we've done the backyard enough that she says, okay, the hot tub is going right here. Okay, so I said. That's a really good spot for it, honey. <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> we'll probably have a hot tub before we have a bathtub in the house. But the people who are uh, my customers who are telling me that they are bubbling it, they they say it's absolutely amazing. They, that's, like that's, nothing they've ever felt before. That's awesome. Um, okay, I want to ask about the heart. So you had a heart murmur, but what about, have you had any testimonials um, or know of, of anybody that with... Um, uh, what's the fast heart uh, arrhythmia? Um, I haven't heard of arrhythmia specifically. Okay. The the only other uh, first of all, it does the cardiovascular system good, no matter what. Okay, yeah. this is a scientific muscle. study, and I'm and I'm sure that the uh, yeah, first of all, you get that strengthening of the muscle, but then you also get the rebuilding of tissues, and that's what my my heart murmur was. It's a weak heart valve, so they could they could hear it flutter. Okay, when it when it was pumping, there was a flutter, but now it's gotten strong enough. There's no flutter, and it and that and it's gone. So the uh, so getting back to the cardiovascular, uh, so it it goes to homeostasis. There are people who have had too low of blood pressure, and it yeah. actually raises it a little bit. And there are people who have too high of blood pressure, and mm -hmm. it lowers it. Okay, so the uh, and one of my best friends. Worked with him for many years. He's uh, 87 years old, mm -hmm. and he had to take uh, blood pressure reducing medication until he started breathing the gas. And as long as he's breathing the gas, he doesn't have to take his blood pressure medication. Within right. three days after uh, after stopping breathing the gas, because he has tested stopping seeing what happened, he had to start taking his blood pressure meds again because his blood pressure would rise over a three day period. So the uh, it, that's the kind of thing that happens. Plus, it, it helps this easy zone thing and what have you, and it just the whole thing just works better. So the um, what you're talking about the high blood pressure did that happen for him like right away? Because my hubby has high blood pressure and and um, we are so no that took a, that took a couple of months to bring it down. Oh, a couple as months he, as, okay. as he was breathing. Okay. Yeah. And so of course, every body is different. So your right. husband will get a faster or slower response. Yeah. But, but it will work as his body comes back into homeostasis. Yeah. I just wanted to, to give my audience the ability to understand that it's not like an overnight thing. And yeah, you might get this fantabulous thing like I did the first day or something, but like my hubby and my daughter did not, you right. know, and they and still. That's why I offer the one year satisfaction guarantee oh, because yes. those things are going to take several months. And nobody yet, nobody who has used the machine, it, I've had them out there for three years now, mm -hmm. nobody who has used the machine properly for a year has ever returned it. Because even if the thing that they initially went for mm -hmm. wasn't, wasn't as, they weren't as exactly satisfied, all the other things that happened <laughs> yes. while, they, while they had it, it made it that they would never let that machine go. Like, yeah, yeah. You couldn't pay me a million bucks. I, I swear, somebody come up with a million dollars cash in a suitcase right now and said, don't breathe Brown's gas anymore for the rest of your life. I would say, <laughs> no, what yes. happened? It, it, it is, I, I expect to live a healthful at least two decades longer because of this. Yes. 
And yeah. 20 years of lifespan is not worth a, a million bucks. It's not worth 10 million. No. I'm not no. even sure there is, there is an amount of money that, that it's worth. No, because your health is your number one asset. I mean, seriously, your health is your wealth. And if you don't have it, I mean, you look at people hauling around oxygen tanks and, and can't even get out of bed. And, and I know because I, I wasn't on an oxygen tank, but I mean, I know because I couldn't get out of bed and I almost died. And it's just like, it's not worth living like that. It just isn't. And, mm -hmm. um, and so getting, you know, like this, I'm always searching for things like this because because uh, I want to live, you know, I want, I want to teach people too anything that I learn because I want them to, to figure out like what works for them and can give them a better life so that it, at any point in their life, I don't care if they're young or older or wherever, you know what I mean? But, but to make their life happier and healthier so that they feel good and that they're not in a wheelchair and they're not sucking on oxygen and they're not, you know, they're not dependent on the medical system because that's not a good place to give responsibility exactly. and and you know. like when you get into you you have to you have to do things because you're you're, you're becoming infirm that gets expensive in a hurry oh yeah those those wheelchairs and oxygen tanks and and special beds and chairs and and yeah. uh, railings and and uh, walkers and toilet seat things and like i went <laughs> through it all <laughs> <laughs> Real, oh yeah you did yeah with your wife it, yeah it it's expensive and it takes your life away but not only yourself but your caretakers yeah it's good that there's a there's a whole uh uh economy out there for people that they can make money caring for other people but mm -hmm. my goodness gracious the people that are at home and and taking care of their siblings and parents and and what have you just yeah. because somebody needs to do it 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 takes their life away too not only the person yeah, no, I, I know. Um, this, this isn't a plastic. I read that um, it, it, the gas actually gets, but that's hydrogen, right? So that the gas actually escapes, not, not yours, not Brown's gas, but this is, um, but I was reading about the hydrogens, you know, the hydrogen machines, because that's what I was, but so it escapes out of plastic and escapes out of glass. Is that true? Is it like, what, what it's would I true. like? It, it's true. And it's true for the, for my gas as well. Exactly. Is the same. Is plus, my plus inside you have the electrically expanded water, which essentially gives the water an electrical charge okay. and that dissipates into the uh, air as well. Even right through plastic, glass, or, or metal. The, the one metal that holds it best is aluminum. Now, I won't use aluminum for anything. <laughs> right. I personally like my brain. Yes. And um, yeah, w what little there is of it, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a lot. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm like any typical man. You know, you know what you call a man with half a brain? What? Gifted. A man? Oh, gifted. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the the women usually get a good laugh out of that one because they, they know it's true. All right. It's against the men. <laughs> so the, uh, it's funny. So the getting back to it, 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 there's also a vibration, a frequency that goes in here. A water expert called Bruce Tanio. Yes. Uh, you know, he's he's passed on now. Uh, tested it and discovered these frequencies, which he had been working with frequencies all his life. And, uh, and he found that when you bubbled the uh, water with the Browns gas, you got the, the best healthful frequencies that he had ever seen. He immediately bought a machine. Okay, all the water experts that, that tested the machine and the gas immediately bought a machine. Patrick Flanagan, Truott, Bruce Tanio, all of them. They did, without exception, when they, when they test it and they, they find it works better than anything they've then been working with all their life, they buy a machine. So that, uh, that, that's kind of... <laughs> <laughs> where it goes but but all of these things these uh, the hydrogen the oxygen the electrically expanded water the frequencies the uh, electrons they all dissipate and and this is what we're calling the entropy the law of, these laws of entropy we're talking about it, mm -hmm. it goes into a disorganized state it just kind of dissipates out into the into everywhere like if you had something hot the heat goes away out into the more cold stuff until everything's the same temperature well mm -hmm. that's the same thing that happens so that's one reason that I sell machines rather than bottled water because mm -hmm. you have to make it as you go. And then I discovered, of course, that you have to breathe the gas to get the best benefit. Because some things work better with the water, mm -hmm. some things work better with the gas. So if you do both, you've got everything. So what then works, again, it comes back to the machine. What works better with the water? Um, there's, I, I, I don't remember <laughs> specifically. I, I, should, I should actually memorize some of those things. Well, there are studies uh, that, that show that there are things that work better with the water. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember the... Uh, 
the chemical reactions that they're talking with, but there are things that work better with the, with the uh, bubbled water than just plain water and don't respond very well to the gas. And there's other things that respond pretty much only to the gas. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you have a hydrogen rich water or not, but you do still need to drink water because if you don't drink water, you're, you know, die. <laughs> right, right. I would imagine that um, anything with the digestive tract, it would really help um, with the, with, with the, the with the drinking of the water, yeah, it, the that's water. true. Yeah. yeah. Um, so is mine? We've been talking for over an hour and a, like an hour and a half now. Is this? Is do I still have hydrogen in here? Do I still have Brown's gas in here? Yes. the uh, The half life is one day, so it's half gone in one day. So in a sealed drinking water container like the plastic one you have there, yeah. in in and it doesn't matter whether it's plastic, glass, or steel. Like even my my one here is uh -huh. the, the stainless steel is the uh, is the same. In, in one day, half of all the goodness is gone. So okay. you can make it in the morning and put it in your water containers and drink it during the day, and you're getting a benefit, a therapeutic benefit. Uh -huh. then, but you have to kind of make it fresh each morning because, it, and you can rebubble it. You can rebubble the same water. There's no yeah. problem there. Did, did you say put it in the refrigerator to keep it, have it last longer? It does last longer if it's in the fridge, not a lot longer, a few hours longer kind of thing. Oh. Um, but if you put it in, high, in, in aluminum, it lasts twice as long. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't think my audience would put anything in aluminum. <laughs> it, I know that Dr. Perricone, I don't know him, but I read that he has, he sells it for $3 a can and, and it's in an aluminum can. And, um, you know, I guess like a Pepsi thing and it has some liner that keeps it, you know, and he sells it for $3 a, a pop. So, yeah. and, and no matter what it is, even aluminum with the special liners, it will dissipate. It, there's, really? there's nothing that won't stop it from dissipating eventually. And personally, I would say that he, I don't know his product, uh, but I have seen others where they have the bags and stuff. And by the time the bags, they're usually sold from Asia, by the time the bags get over here, it's, you might as well just be drinking water. Wow. Oh my gosh. And probably not even filtered. <laughs> it probably has all kinds Possibly. of... It, there, there are a lot less controls in Asia. But oh there are people, God. Asia is stepping up their game. They are, uh, they're, they're, you got to watch because some things you get from Asia these days are very, very good. So you yeah. have to, yeah, but, but you do have to watch because some of them are not so good. <laughs> okay. And then here's a question on frequency. You're absolutely correct on that. You have to watch, you have to pay attention. Um, the frequency, can you, ch on the machine, can you change the frequency? I think you said you could, but I don't know where. Yes. On the, uh, Left hand side, I believe it is, is the frequency buttons. I'm going to show this so people can see. Yep, so the little uh, dark square has two blue buttons on the left and two blue buttons on the right. Okay. And the two blue buttons on the, you have to point it down a little bit more. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I'm moving the water thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there, the, the square on the, uh, on the left hand side has two blue buttons on one side and on the other. And the, the two blue buttons on the uh, oh, right has the duty cycle, which is how much gas is being produced, and oh, that and you need that for breathing. And the two blue buttons on the left, you can take it back now, okay. is uh, are the ones that adjust the frequency. And if you understand frequencies, like we just we tell people to adjust it at 432, which is a, just a good harmonic frequency, feels good to the body. Okay. Um, but if you you know your frequencies, and there's several ones out there. Um, Rife, Dr. Clark, uh, Sovaggio, Sovaggio, is that, am I pronouncing it correctly? Which one? Sovaggio. So, so I only I, read it, but I don't know the proper pronunciation. Yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, I, t I tell in the new manuals where you can go and research these various frequencies. Oh, okay. and, and you can, uh, um, if you have a specific ailment, you can set the machine for that frequency, and it will impress that frequency onto the gas as it's being formed. Wow. Specifically onto the electrically expanded water. Because the electrically expanded water, water, water is life, it, it absorbs all kinds of life information. It can mm -hmm. even transmute and does, I, I've proven this, into other materials. It's like the Philosopher's Stone, it, this particular gas that we're talking about here. It enhances life, extends life, that's a Philosopher's Stone. It transmutes into other materials. It, you can actually take water and make other materials that I, I'm, Specific, I was specifically avoiding the word gold, but oh. uh, one of, <laughs> I was like, oh, one what? of the, the, the uh, <laughs> um, experiments they're doing in Germany right now is making silver using the Brown's gas and actual silver metal. So the uh, and and it's working. They're they're uh, they're making silver. So the 
and I'm, I'm hoping at some point I can do the demonstrations where I can show that it's making gold. But anyway, the, the, getting back to the point, water absorbs information. So as soon as you're impressing this frequency onto mm -hmm. the, the water, the specifically the exp electrically expanded water, when you breathe it or drink it, that frequency goes into your body and it, your body can, can uh, absorb and use that frequency. It's a basis of homeopathy and, and a few other things. I have lots of stories on that, on that particular one as well. I don't know how much time we have for it, but, oh, no, but yes, the machine can do that. I'm, I'm just, I don't think I've ever said wow so many times in, in an interview. <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of fun. Yeah, well, yeah, you're fun to talk to, but it's, but not just that, it's just what you have created um, it really can help so many people. I mean, I think of my, my sister with her rheumatoid arthritis. I think about a lot of my listeners and followers, because a lot of them are clients, or some of them are clients, and, um, and what the things that they have, you know, and, and I just, I think about all these people that could benefit from this, and what I really want to do is like, in my home, come on down, but it's all over the world, so, <laughs> so that's not really going to help, but, um, but I really want to get, I want people to understand the value of this machine. I mean, this interview has helped me to understand even more so the value of it, um, but I want I want my listeners and viewers to to um, understand like just what the health benefits and okay so it's twenty four hundred dollars I just want to put it out there and oh, twenty five twenty four ninety nine so oh, call twenty five yeah. yeah we got to go up okay it's twenty five hundred yeah. um, but I tell you it's like the the best thing ever and um, it's and and I'll put all the information on my on my website so that they can find you and and get it but it's but you you get sick one time and and it's like it'll take your 2500 bucks boom you know i mean it's just one one thing a doctor visits and this stuff and like you were talking about an oxygen tank. i mean all that that's sick like a like a, a bad sick cancer or something like that um and what i really love is like um like with the vaccines right so that's going to help the body to heal where things that I was going to, that immune system, right? So it's actually going to go in and help to heal. So this is something that parents of vaccinated injured children can, um, and would this, it, would this heal um, after the fact, say nine years after the fact that they're dealing with it, autism? It is. Yeah, they, they are healing uh, autism with the hydrogen and the hydroxy works better. Like I said, it's the next level, but right. also a combination with the MMS. The MMS is helping uh, right. quite a few of the autistic people as well. So, so what I'm thinking is um, with, with you, the Brown's gas and the MMS and yeah. uh, I mean, all of these things, because if you were to take MMS, that's a, that's an, that's an antioxidant. It's an oxidant. It's a, it's a very light oxidant. Um, right. You, can you, um, will it neutralize if you take the MMS? Will this neutralize the, your, the Brown's gas? Um, they will tend to neutralize each other. So again, like an oxygen therapy, you would do the MMS first. Yeah. And then let it do its thing, and then do the hydrogen laughter. Yeah, because uh, it'll, it it'll, it'll, an hour or two difference. It's kind of like the um, the vitamin C. When you when you're doing the MMS, they tell you not to do the vitamin yeah, C. Yeah, at the same yeah. time. Exactly yeah. the same reason. You don't want to do the antioxidant when you're doing the oxidant. Yeah. So so um, the MMS is eight times a day, like to keep it in the body. So you'd have to do. You could only do the gas like at night, maybe or something. You could do that, or take out half of the MMS ones. And replace them with the with the hydrogen. So you're doing an alternating thing. Yeah, because it, it, yeah. Oh, okay. But then it doesn't stay in the body, and you need it to stay in the body. I, well, that's that's interesting. Yeah, maybe maybe yeah. so because maybe that maybe it's we're, healed. We're, yeah, again, we, we're we're just figuring out a lot of these protocols. So there yeah, may yeah. be things yeah. where you do one day on the MMS and you do the next day on the hydrogen, or yeah. uh, like you say, breathe the hydrogen at night, or things like that. Yeah. Yeah, and then I think when you take um, uh, Wayne, when you when you take his uh, the probiotics, like you get that bifido, you put it in your ear, and it, so it goes down, you know, and, and actually gets into the colon, get, gets into the the system. Um, Some miles through the lymphatic system or something. The lymphatic system, yeah, you put it in your ear, and um, so it's it's really cool. Like I th I think when you when you couple all those things together, then you're just like you're just kicking it. <laughs> you're kicking it into vitality. Yes. So, and so we're actually doing with this common sense thing yes. exactly what doctors used to do. Okay, physicians back in the day 
-hmm. They didn't have all these pharmaceutical companies and what have you to tell you what they wanted you to hear. Doctors mm -hmm. actually figured things out by themselves and yeah. then they told other doctors. And, yeah. and that's how medicine was evolving and, and, uh, and doing things. Yep. Until Rockefeller came in. Yeah. <laughs> and then the story. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're absolutely correct. Yeah, I love this. I, I love this. This is, this is so beautiful. I, I, I'm just so excited to get this to get this out to everybody. So thank you so much. Is there um, do you have any other stories or lasting things? And I want to ask you like a I mean, well, actually, tell us something funny about you, you know, um, that uh, or, or before we do that. Do, do you have anything else that you'd like to add about the Browns gas that maybe we haven't touched on? I, I think we've done a pretty good job of introducing it. There's, I, there's obviously an amazing depth that the person could go, but I yeah. think we've done a pretty good job of that. Okay. So, so um, do tell us something interesting about yourself. And you, you've told a lot of stories, but if there's anything else that is uh, interesting or um, a, kind of a factoid about you, who you are, and, and you've also done that too. So I don't know if there is any. I'm sure there is. Tell us something interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh man interesting about me what would possibly be interesting something about me? different and unique <laughs> we've learned a lot <laughs> okay well i i have a i have a cowboy philosophy okay i grew up on a cattle ranch and okay. therefore i i'm totally different as you've kind of seen a little bit from the introduction and all through um i i have this this ingrained um sense of justice and honesty that, that uh, uh, it, it definitely makes me run up against uh, bureaucrats and, and people who are not as honest they, uh, or, or self-interested. And so I'm, 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 in this case, more interested in helping other people than I am interested in, um, in gain. I, I'm old enough that I've realized the point where you don't really need to uh, accumulate a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's good to have better have a, a, a life, a lifestyle, a, uh, a, a living of life than it is to have a lot of things because the, the living of life, at least you enjoy while you're here. And if you didn't enjoy it by, cause you were just accumulating a lot of things when you're gone, you don't bring your things with you. Yeah. You, you may or may not bring your life with you either, but at least you enjoyed life while you were here. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and so that's kind of the, the way that I do it. My there's a there's a fellow out there called Simon Sinek who is saying, What is your why? And my why is to help others. Help others be better than they were the day before. I, I do that first by helping myself and then I and just like you, then I then I help others learn what I learned. Mm -hmm. And I think that while it's not funny it's 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 where I am at. Yeah, that's beautiful. I I, I want to end there, but I'm not going to because I want to. I forgot I had about pets. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. That's beautiful, by the way. I love it. I love your philosophy. You're you're such an amazing man, and I'm just so grateful to even be able to meet you and and chat with you and and share you with you know my listeners and viewers. Um, but I really want to know about pets. I mean, um, like how long, so it has the half-life so you can bubble the water and give it to the pets and it has the same effect on plants and pets and things like that. I just wanted to yes. add, right? Is yes, that absolutely. And uh, I actually, it, there's a video of one of my customers that actually did uh, fish, uh, uh, koi and goldfish uh, mm -hmm. with this. But, but first of all, it does exactly the same to pets as it does for uh, humans and uh, one example is a guy who gave the water to his chickens and they doubled their egg production overnight. Now they, they went back to the same egg production uh, within two or three days, but uh, when their body got used to the hydrogen, hydrogenated water, the uh, hydrogen rich water, but it, it showed it had a definite effect on those chickens because instead of laying one egg a day, they were laying two eggs a day. It, it was dramatic. Okay. Uh, so that's one example I can use. Another one had to do with fish. So not only birds, but fish um, having to do with, they, they took two tanks of fish uh, and they put the same fingerlings in each one. And then this one, they just bubbled with the regular air, like a regular air bubbler. And over here, they bubbled with the hydroxy gas. They didn't get regular air. They got the hydroxy gas. And the hydroxy gas tank, the fish grew three times faster, three times bigger in the same amount of time. So same amount of time. 
And then they took the fish out of the hydroxy tank and put them over into the tank with the smaller fish so that you can see the actual difference in, and it's, there's a video on YouTube on this, the difference in. So it showed how much better they grew. And plants, oh my goodness, if you just give them water to plants that are in dirt, they grow three times faster, three times more plant growth in the same amount of time. And if you do it with hydroponics, it's mm -hmm. 10 times, 10 times more growth in the same amount of time with hydroponics. So tomatoes will grow like crazy. And grow crazy, absolutely. Yes. Wow, wow. So um, just one time a day or um, just with the... Well, with hydroponics, it was a continuous thing. No, no, no. With I mean, the, my plants. <laughs> with the watering, yes, yeah, so you just water them normally. It's just with the, you, you make sure you get the hydrogen rich water. So you'd have to bubble it just before you gave it to them and then you would give it to them. Yeah. And like 10 minutes? Is that all you need you for a regular watering? Just whatever you normally water. Just, just like... No, 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 but 10 minutes of the bubbling? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 minutes per quart. Per quart, yeah. Per liter. So yeah. if you're doing a gallon, then it would be 40 minutes of bubbling, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. I think think parts yeah. Of the manual. <laughs> we had a guy who actually did his entire garden and orchard with the Browns Guest bubbled water. And he, no, he did half, excuse me. And then he sent us the pictures and they are dramatic, dramatic difference between the bubbled water and the not bubbled water. Same plants. Side by side, this one getting bubbled, this one just getting regular tap water. Yeah. And does the water, once you bubble it for the animals, if it leaves it and, and it's open, how, how long does it, you know, you put it in their water bowl, how long does that last before it gasses out? Yeah, it, it gasses out relatively quickly, not, not within an hour or two, but it would be mostly gone in a day. So you pretty much have to replenish it every day. Uh, yeah, well, that makes sense. Okay, but I just wanted to see if that maybe probably every, like, ha every half day to make sure it's there, huh? I mean, two times a day. But you, uh, you could if you, if you really love your pets and, <laughs> and want to do that much extra work for them. <laughs> I, do, I do, and then I can put the water in the plants that I throw yes. out. <laughs> yeah. yes, well, this, so all of this, I mean, just coming back to, to end it here, is that what it does for the plants is what it's doing for us. I mean, it's like, it's the same. It's just, um, it's just that beautiful healing and the, and the growth. And so I would imagine that the, um, the human growth factor and all of that, like everything, the stem cells, everything is just with the immune system working. It's all working the brain. Like, so thinking, you know, the, the ability to memory and, and all that kind of stuff. It's like, it's all connected. And, and that That's this, absolutely. yeah. Wow. This is, Oh my gosh. It's like, fascinating and love it makes me so happy that i'm so unconventional <laughs> <laughs> and that you are too <laughs> yes and that we both get a benefit from it i know i know so thank you so incredibly mucho for inventing it thank you for taking two almost two hours it's for being on this interview i'll just i'll divide it in half and um and i'm just su super grateful because this is beautiful um i would like to interview you again once i have like just for fun after just as a follow-up i don't know maybe in six months or something like that and see be my pleasure where we are and all of that so maybe i'll have a funny story to tell by then too <laughs> yeah this is lenny winnerstrom with the wild and free healthy you podcast thank you so incredibly mucho for listening today we are so grateful that you are listening and hopefully this has helped you to uh, take care of your health this is george wiseman that we've been talking to an amazing american inventor who doesn't patent anything he just gives the information out and you can get his uh, aqua cure i'll have all the information underneath the podcast so you can find all that information so thank you so incredible joe thank you george you're very welcome have a great day thanks again for listening to the wild and free healthy you podcast don't forget to go to lennymotivates.com to book your health and spiritual guidance session or your Akashic Records readings that will help you to find your purpose, get clarity about where you are now in your life, and give you the tools necessary to help you to move yourself forward in life. Also, you can join me in my free Facebook group, Cosmic Cheerleaders, where we explore how to find your purpose, and I teach you how to get into your own Akashic Records. That's really cool. That's Cosmic Cheerleaders Facebook group, or find out more and book your guidance session at lennymotivates.com. Now, I was able to negotiate a great deal for you on George's Aqua, Aqua Cure AC50 machine. Get true hydration of your cells so that you can feel more vibrant and live longer without chronic disease, autoimmune diseases, and feel and look more youthful with fewer aches and pains, leading a healthful life with full functionality and mobility of your body 
and your mind. Now, you know we don't give medical advice here, so we were just talking about all of this, but you, but with hydrating and breathing in this hydroxy gas, we just may be able to mitigate things like the rheumatoid arthritis, RA, osteoarthritis, lupus, and even cancer, heart disease and strokes, and also dementia and Alzheimer's. Our minds are so important. So go to eagleresearch.com and use the code Lenny Motivates and get 10% off the AquaCure AC50 machine. I know you will not be disappointed. Thanks for listening to the Wild and Free Healthy You podcast. I appreciate you so incredibly mucho. Make sure you always take care of you first because your health is your number one asset. To listen to more podcasts, check out LennyMotivates.com and follow me on Instagram at LennyMotivates. Don't forget to share them with your family and friends. Remember to always be your biggest fan and your biggest cheerleader because no one can love you more than you can. Take care of you. Ciao.